Hi everyone. Today we are excited to introduce you the next version of Brandy, Brandy 2.0. This new update comes with a cleaner and modern UI, a more streamlined ways of doing things, some newer ways and faster ways to bring your assets into Brandy, a better way to manage those assets once they get to Brandy, some personalization options for your collections, your brand and your assets, some newer and faster sharing options, as well as some power use actions. So the new UI is not just a fresh coat of paint. We've also improved how things were organized to make sure your brand shines through, as well as making sure you don't see stuff that you don't need all the time, uh, all the time. So for instance, if you look at the old UI, there were stuff like switching between edit and view flows, which is just so in your face. And there's a copy share option, uh, which is taking more space from there. We also had like a condensed UI and some of these buttons and stuff like that were like from really old and the editors were always here the buttons were like really old uh, and you get some things like settings and logger that you don't see or need all the time as well as the help and like the question feedback stuff here so you notice in the new ui it's much cleaner your brand shines through uh, all the stuff that you had before are still there so if you want to share you still get like your team access stuff here and you get like the settings and buildings and stuff like that down here. Uh, and you still get like the ways to contact us very easily with the question and feedback stuff. Uh, and yeah, and you can still of course do like the basic stuff like switch your brand. Uh, yeah. So other than that, we also introduce like uh, two tips for stuff that are not obvious. For instance, here with the actions here, you get now like newer, more than two tips there. Uh, and you notice we're using like really more flat modern buttons and uh, things are much cleaner we're using like better colors uh, Yeah Speaking of streamlined You notice now the settings will open right uh, here and you get the access to your brand You can start editing from right there You get your billing information right in line here like so So yeah, all the stuff that you need are right there and like I said stuff that you need like switching between edit and view mode it's still there, it's just uh, not uh, in your face so that your brand can shine through. You notice now we also have like ways and better ways to customize your collection. So if you come in here, you can come in here and customize your collection uh, right in line. Adding your assets to Brandy is much faster in this new version. You can come in here, grab your assets like to Brandy and you can upload them directly like that. You'll notice now for PDFs and MP4s, you get options to preview or play the MP4 in line. Uh, yeah. And for audio files, you get like a visualizer there. So, yeah. Another way to bring your assets to Brandy is using our import from URL option where you can enter your website and then to import your assets for you. So, like so, load assets. This takes a while and goes to your website and brings in all the images and the colors. And the icons and stuff like that and as you can see here i can come in here and select some of these logos that i'm using on the website like so uh, and yeah add to logos and once those go into logos i can come in here into colors select a bunch of colors that i use and generate a palette from them Easy peasy. I'm gonna add a few on some of these small add to logos. And you're done. You've brought in your assets from your website uh, easily like that. If you don't have existing assets or want to pick from some of our collections, you can come to our style generator here. And there's a few options. You can grab a palette generator, which will generate a palette for you, and then you can customize this to your liking. Or you can come to our font pairing and font gallery options to grab like from Google Fonts and search your font that you want here. See if I can grab the bottle like so. And I pick a few options. I can then add those in, or I can tell it also pair it with something. So Roboto pairs with Playfair Display, and I can also shuffle this to get some fewer other pairings. And maybe even lock that and then shuffle to get only pairings for open sans here and i can select uh, that single font and that single font weight and then add them to logos like so 
and for colors i can do the same thing go to style generator and go to color palette gallery and grab some palettes here you can search for something like leaf or sand anything that you like and add these two logos like so once you have your assets like so you can start managing them by moving them around there are a few options like you can move items uh, up or down in the list here or you can select like a few items like these two fonts here and you get some bulk actions for instance i want to move these fonts to the fonts uh, collection here and i'll select the logo and move those to the uh, images and looks like i forgot to move this one as well so let's move that you can move that directly by clicking that They should go to the logos into the fonts and yeah so these two should go to the colors if you hold shift you can select everything before here so i can move these two colors like that and yeah so from there i guess i can rename this to something else because i moved the logos out of here so i'll rename this to images Let's render to and yeah, rename these to logos because I ended up moving logos here. Once you've added all your assets into Brandy, you can start ordering and organizing them uh, in ways that you want. One of the ways to do that is to change the layer from list to something else. Like in this case, I want this to be like a three column grid like so you notice now my logos are organized nicely like that much easier for something like logos to look and saves more space vertically here and also i want to move this to the top so if you hold shift you can click shift click uh the move to move something to the top or shift click to move it to the bottom like so and of course you can do the same thing with like multiple items so if you want this to move the top and I hold shift I can move this to the top and there above everything else uh, as you can see there for stuff that I don't really care about right now I can come in here and select them like that and maybe that and then you also get an option to bulk delete them or bulk download them like so another popular organization option for your assets is the pen tool layout so if i come to archive here right now it's using the regular list layout um, but i can come in here and say customize and choose bento here you notice now they are in this uh, circle square layout but other than that now you can actually start resizing them because that's how bentos work bento layouts can have different sized items so for instance here i can tell this image here uh, video sorry to be a large one like so and move this item to the top move it down a few steps put it there uh, move this up make this image tall so it shines so you start seeing with the bento layout here you can actually start creating some really cool and unique uh, layouts you can tell this pdf to be wider and yeah you get the point point. and then like i told you before you can select multiple here and then move this up yeah so bento layout is one of those that's really popular it's not on the free plan so you'll have to upgrade to get this but yeah it's a really nice way to organize your assets and have them looking really nice Whenever you start feeling like you have too many items in the same collection, you can start using subcollections. So if I come here to something that doesn't have a subcollection, I click the three dots. So hover, click the three dots, add subcollection, internal, like so. Uh, so you get the subcollection there and you can put your assets in there. 
and as you can see here with this archive I have stuff on the main archive here but I have like stuff in the colors, logos, fonts. So yeah, subquestions are a really useful way to organize uh, things so that your main collection doesn't have all sorts of stuff. Collection banners are a nice way to personalize your collection. So if I come here and say customize collection and enable banner here. I get option to click this banner now and start customizing it. You can put a gradient around it, like so, with some patterns in there. And save, like so. You can even put text in there, so like I can say, archive, some archived. Like so. And in cases where you have the same title, you want to use the title at the banner here you can come here to customize collection and hide the title so that way there's only the title at the banner and no title here but for pages that don't have banners you can just like show the title there yeah so banners can be customized uh, in some cool ways i can come in here and say go to images like so uh, pick an image like that and tell it to have a parallax effect like so and now when I scroll, the image stays. And of course, in this case, I don't want any patterns. Pick a different image, like so. And in this case, now we actually need to change the text color to a black or some sort of like darkish blue here, like so. And in this case, I want the text to, if I remove the parallax here, this the image is heavy on the right. So I can take the text to be aligned to the left. Uh, yeah. So you can see some ways you can customize this, like make it really your own and make your collection really stand out. A new addition to 2.0 is cover pages. Cover pages are a way for you to introduce your brand to your customers or your users. So if you come here and add cover page, you get this blank page that you can do anything you want with. The title by default here is your brand title, but you can change that to anything. Say it's something like introducing brand stuff like that putting like a gradient background here or something like and you can customize these gradients by the way like so it's introducing brand and then add a section so there are a few sections there are card sections and column sections so let's add a card section let's add a do's and don'ts section let's add a column a checklist column so you can come in here with the once you've added the sections you can come in here and click one of the cards so click edit and then you can change the image there have something that you like uh, and change the player on this like change the text uh, and also change where it links to where the card links to and also whether it opens in a new tab or the same tab so and uh, yeah you can play around this and get it to where you want and with the checklist stuff here you can also come in here and edit that customize your checklist or just remove this whole section if you want the same thing with this image another thing you notice with the column sections uh, they also sometimes have fills here so you can come in here and edit and make this like a tool or change it to like a success or error fill so save that nice success fill uh, yeah, so play around with this and I get it to work uh, with your brand. So that's cover pages. We've also made improvements to our share flows. So now you can come in here and click share and just copy the link to send to somebody or invite people to your team here and and uh, like embed brand. You can also embed your brand into your website. So you can copy the embed code as is or just copy the URL put it somewhere in your website and if you open the copied URL in a new tab you'll get something like this with the collections on the left here your logo and some links and one of the new features in 2.0 is a brand switcher toggle so if you come here and toggle brand switcher and copy the URL again open it you'll notice now in this view you get a chance to 
an option to switch between your existing brands in this embed mode. You can also share collections. So if I come to a collection like that, you can say share. You get an option to like share and copy the collection stuff there. The same thing with assets. If I click on an asset, I can also click share an asset there and I get those links to share an asset. When you're sharing a brand, you can say one of the collections should not be visible in the brand. So you can come in here and say customize and then make private. And that way when you're sharing that collection, it won't be visible. When you're sharing the brand, this collection will show up. Uh, yeah, so you'll notice this much easier when you're on a collection without children there. If I say make private, you'll notice now the icon changes to a lock there. Now uh, with brands, you've been able to do that. So if I come to say settings, you can make it private uh, and you'll notice the lock there. But you also click this on and off and that will toggle the brand on or off. For our power users, we've also introduced a way for you to be more productive while using Brandy and that is using uh, the command bar. So if you notice up here, you can click that and you notice I can say customize collection and I go to that view directly instead, instead of like looking for it and clicking it. I can just say toggle brand access and now it's public, it's private and now it's public. So the command bar is your friend so you make sure you get familiar with it so it will cause it will spend uh, help you spend less time. So yeah, one of my favorite things is like playing out with the layouts here. I can just change to bend to layout to list layout to column layout. Like so. So the command bar is your friend if you're a power user. And finally for Again, power users and individual, but yes, you can also now see a brand checklist here. So a brand checklist is a way for you to like keep yourself uh, honest with stuff that you need to uh, have as part of your brand guidelines. We've gone ahead and separated this thing to enterprise and SMBs. And the idea is once you've, for instance, added your primary logos, you come in here and check that. And once you've added like your topography, accent colors, and you'll notice like, how much is still left. Uh, yeah. You can also expand this to learn more about that specific item and why it's useful. So that's it. That's the 2.0 release. A ton of stuff in there. We'll be releasing videos and tutorials specific for each features. So this was the gloss over of everything that we released. Uh, keep an eye out for the tutorials and let us know what you think.